Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Dr. Sharma. How does coronavirus actually kill people? In light of the new deadly strain of coronavirus that has reportedly infected two and a half thousand individuals and caused 80 deaths, I figured it'd be beneficial to review exactly how coronavirus kills you, the method of its transmission, and exactly what's been going on. Now, while 80 deaths might not seem like a lot, think about the ratio of deaths to the number of infection. I mean, that's already 3%. And in recent studies, between 25 and 30% of cases require an intensive care unit admission. And that's due to hypoxemia or low oxygen levels in the blood due to the lung damage that it causes and difficulty breathing. The coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that replicate using RNA that typically infects respiratory related cells in the body. These cells line our respiratory tract all the way from our nares to our throat down to our lungs, which can definitely give you an indication of the symptoms that you may have, such as runny nose, sneezing, cough, and shortness of breath. Now these may sound like your typical symptoms with a common cold, which is caused by a typical non-lethal and docile strain of coronavirus. Other systemic symptoms include fevers, headaches, because the body is trying to fight off a systemic infection. In severe cases, there may be a lot of difficulty with breathing due to the damage that the virus causes on the lining of the lung tracts, especially down in the alveoli. Alveoli are super important for oxygen exchange from the air that we breathe into our bloodstream. Viral or even bacterial infections that are serious enough to cause damage of this membrane can really affect oxygen exchange and result in damage just enough that fluid and protein can start to leak into the alveoli. Now with all this fluid, it's even harder to exchange oxygen because that exchange needs a very nice, fine, thin layer for diffusion of oxygen to occur. In addition, many of the respiratory cells higher up from the alveoli contain cilia on their surface, which are kind of like tails which keep our lungs clear of any small bacteria or particles. And this means the bacteria are more prone to make their way down into your lungs, causing a secondary bacterial pneumonia or a superimposed bacterial infection, which has been reported in up to 10% of patients admitted in the intensive care unit. In addition, the older the patient is, the less likely they are going to be able to bounce back from an infection like this. Spread of the virus includes direct contact with membrane surfaces, as well as droplet airborne particles. So it's gonna be super important to continue to wash your hands, wear a mask if you think that somebody in the office or if you feel like you're sick because we definitely don't want any more spread of this virus, especially in cities that it's already been reported in. As always, continue to practice safe hygiene and stay healthy.